Central bank digital currencies could be a digital version of money, a bit like a digital banknote. They are backed by the state and uh, they offer finality when transactions are settled. Programmability. That is, CBDC can allow government agencies and private sector players to program those money can be precisely targeted for what kind of people can own and what kind of use. You know, the money would be programmed to be released only when something happened. You could think, for example, of giving your children pocket money, but programming the money so that it couldn't be used for sweets. The central bank will have absolute control and also we will have the technology to enforce that digital id some form of digital identification will ultimately be needed for the integrity of a cbdc based payment system we will have some traces of the transactions and in this sense cbdc's are an idea whose time has come our shared objective is to ensure that cbdc's will be grounded in long-standing commitments to transparency the rule of law and sound economic governance. The introduction of a central bank digital currency would be a disaster for civil liberties here in the UK. It would mean more monitoring of our day-to-day -day spending, putting the state at the heart of all of our financial transactions, and it could mean that some people are locked out of the financial system altogether. If you want to find out more, go to nospycoin.co.uk, and the best way to fight for privacy and financial freedom is to become a Big Brother Watch supporter today.